Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and this particular item that they had drawn has 784 objects. We take the node tool, it's got, and select all the nodes. Well, we'll have to tell you what we'll do. What we can do is go up to object and combine it. Now it's all one curve, then we can take the shape tool and we've got 1,560 nodes. I've reduced it to 173 nodes very easily. And it's kind of easy to do and I've done a couple of videos like this. So we're gonna start over and I am gonna do this in two parts because there's a little secret to the one way to do things. And we're just gonna use a Smart Fill tool. And you can see our item is 9.4. So we're gonna make our nudge distance 10. And we're gonna take the Smart Fill tool. We're gonna to fill that in. We're gonna nudge it over. We're gonna nudge everything over that he wanted in black. And we've got it all except for these pieces right here. And we'll have to zoom in. And that's what the second part are gonna be about, making these look better. So all I'm doing is keeping my finger on the right arrow key and I'm moving them over. I think I missed one. No, I got them all. And now you can take this and left click, right click. And now it's 22 objects instead of 740 or 784 objects. The combined did the same thing, but now I've kind of welded all those together. Let's just get this guy out of the way. And I like working in the center of the page. So I need to go Control G to group this together for a second and hit P and put it in the center of the page. Now I'm gonna take a two point line and I've done several videos on this, holding down the control button to get a perpendicular line to hit P. It doesn't really matter what size what side you do, but we need to correct these nodes on this side. So we're gonna have to go and break it apart, ungroup it, go up to object, group and ungroup, take the shape tool. Look at all the nodes that are not necessary. I mean, there is 20, a bunch of nodes right there. I'm just gonna delete them. I didn't really lose my shape. And, if, and for the video, I'm not going to delete, I'm not going to go over every one of these, but as long as you kind of see that your angle didn't change, it changed on that one. So let's just delete the other ones. And we're going to go through here and delete all these. And I don't, you'd have to look back at the original picture to see if this is a sharp corner or a rounded corner. And they're sharp corners. And you can do it either way grab our no tool and let's keep that outer one. Let's delete the middle ones. See, there's like three, like right there together. Now I'm gonna select both those, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna convert it to a line. We're also gonna to have to convert these to a line. So I'm just right clicking my mouse. Or left. Okay, they're already aligned evidently. Now I need to, I can manually move this one over and then I can delete that node. Now we can align these nodes right here. Align them horizontally and get them even. Now there's a lot of nodes and like I said for the video, I'm not gonna delete all of them. Uh, but you could go through and what you're doing, I'm deleting just half of the half of the drawing. I don't need these two nodes. There's a lot of nodes in here I don't need. Like right here, I mean, look at, this is a pretty poor drawing. And as long as you don't change the shape, and you can always go back if you see the shape, shape change. Look how many nodes were right on top of each other. I probably have to keep that one, but we'll delete these, we'll delete these. And I'm going further than I really wanted to with the video. And whenever you see something like this, 
you've got six nodes right there together. And just delete the outer ones. When they're off the line, it means they're actually on top of each other. And it doesn't really hurt. We changed the profile a little bit, so nudge, go back. Let's delete all these center ones. And you can just see how they're, they're basically on top of each other. And I'm gonna do just a few more, just to kind of draw, make a point. And we could probably delete that one. And for the video, that's good enough. I would keep working on this, deleting ones we do not need, like right there. Didn't change the shape, didn't change the shape. And see, I'm not messing with anything on this side. I'm just messing with this side because that's why I drew the line. I don't need probably that node. Don't need that one for sure. Don't, you don't need any interior ones that are between two lines because nothing can change. So we've deleted quite a few nodes. There's still one right there on top of it. A couple here. And we can make that curved or whatever. Don't need that node. Don't really need that node. Let's go up top real quick and just look. Don't need that node. So we're working on the left-hand side. That changed a little bit, but it doesn't really hurt it. Now, take your virtual segment delete key and just delete all this. Move your line out of the way. You could already delete it. Control D to make a duplicate. Still hold down the control button and just move your mouse to the right. Now we have a lot less nodes, you can see. We're still not finished with this part. We are going to go to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and I've already got it open right here. My tolerance is real low, so I can select two at a time. I actually need to select that and shift select the other side. Got rid of those nodes. I'm getting rid of all the nodes in the middle. Now I don't need that mo node in the middle because it's a straight line. If it's a curve, then you might have some problem. Let's join those two nodes. Let's see if we can't delete them. And yes, we can. Go down, and what we're doing is working on the center. Join those nodes. This might change it, but did did not. Join them and then delete them. Just real quick, couple we should have deleted before. We don't need those lines or those nodes. So I'm almost through and I'm not gonna do any more because I'm, I'm too far. Now, the best thing to do is take your smart field tool. Now, and also we haven't messed with that yet. And fill this in and nudge it over. This definitely seals everything. And we're, we shouldn't really, I shouldn't really worry about this because we're gonna cover this in the next video. Let me zoom in here. But we're gonna go ahead and do it. I'm just clicking the left mouse button to fill it in. And then my right other hand, I'm moving it over to the right. So now let's take the whole thing and left click, right click. Let's get our shape tool. Let's break it apart. Well, we'll combine it, grab the shape tool. Now I only have 261 nodes versus I've cut it in thirds. Now, if you're a laser engraver, not going to make that much difference. See, we changed the shape a little bit, but you can change that any way you want it. I think that actually looks more symmetrical. So stay tuned for the next video, and we're going to deal with these guys that have a lot of nodes. A lot of nodes and they're not very uniform. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.